you've heard us talking about, there's a lot of excitement around that Fairfield American Little League team. Their dream season just rolls on after they beat New Jersey today with a big win, 12 to 2. Yeah, the Little Leaguers making history of their own, and now they join the rich history of the Little League World Series. News 8 sports reporter Eric Dobretz has a look at a little baseball history. Over the last two days, we've seen some great baseball here in Williamsport, but if you want to know about the history of the Little League World Series, the best place to go, right here, the Little League Museum. This is uh, sort of the holy grail for Little League. It's the very first home plate uh, that was carved by our founder. Founder of the program is Carl Stutz. And uh, he f carved this home plate from rubber that he found in his father's basement. And uh, he used, actually used this knife to carve it with. Blade broke off in the process. So he kept everything, including the first, very first home plate. Um, and that's how we start the museum. Hi, my name's Lance Van Auken. I'm the executive director here at the World of Little League Museum in South Williamsport, Pennsylvania. Welcome. So in this gallery, uh, we have some of the tools of the game that kids would have had to have used before Little League came along. Uh, a wooden bat, that's a Hack Wilson uh, model bat, um, one of the old masks, an old mitt that they used to use, and, and actually one of the oldest baseballs in existence. It's a ball from uh, 1868. Safety has been a, a sort of a watchword for Little League uh, since the beginning. Uh, so this is actually a cannon that was invented by Dr. Creighton Hale, who eventually became our president and CEO uh, back in the 1950s to test uh, different helmet designs that he was coming up with. One of those things we want, we want people to ask questions about. This is a piece of the Berlin Wall. And uh, the reason that's here is uh, we actually have more leagues in Eastern Europe, in Poland, in the Czech Republic, and places like that than we do in Western Europe, uh, where they've had access to, to Little League for so many years. Uh, this is what amounts to a giant iPad. And there's a couple of different things you can do with this. You can actually uh, play a, a game on it, a, a geography game. Airfield, there's national. So it lists the teams that are there. These are items, uh, the regular sort of work items for people who have or still do volunteer for us at the Little League Baseball World Series. And the set of teeth that you see there yep. is uh, actually from uh, Dr. Michael Lantier. He's a dentist in Bristol, Connecticut. And uh, he comes every year and helps us out with our umpires, makes them feel welcome. Last gallery is our Hall of Excellence. And um, it starts out with this mirror uh, where what we want is for kids especially to see themselves reflected in this mirror and to realize there's, there's really no difference between them and these guys, but then when they look down they can see uh, who they are. Uh, Chris Drury, um, you know, who led the Trumbull team to the uh, 1998, uh, 1989 Little League World Series Championship, which he won on the mound. One of the people that most people aren't going to recognize is Michael Camerata. Uh, Michael actually played in the 1991 uh, Little League World Series, played right field uh, for a team from uh, Staten Island, New York. And uh, he was uh, the youngest, 10 years later, he was the youngest firefighter killed on 9-11 at the World Trade Center. Um, so his family donated uh, his uh, FDNY badge to us, as well as a letter that he left in his dresser drawer for his mother to find in case anything were to happen to him. And uh, to this day, uh, Michael's number 11 is the only number that's ever been retired at the Little League World Series. Um, so when people see that just a singular number 11 on the right field fence where he played, um, we want them to ask why is that number 11 out there uh, so that we can tell his story. In Williamsport, Pennsylvania, I'm Eric Dobratz, News 8 Sports.